Chapter 3 The Race One bright morning, a few animals were talking to each other. They were discussing who was the fastest animal among them. Mr. Squirrel cleared his throat and said, Excuse me, but I think we shouldn't waste our time even asking this question. Obviously, I'm the fastest. Mr. Rabbit raised his eyebrow. Eh? In your dreams, I'm faster than you are. For a long time, the two argued with each other. Until the wise Mr. Owl said, Oh, stop this debate. My ears are tired of your bickering. If you agree, let's organize a race right now. Whoever wins the race is the fastest. Oh, I like that, Mr. Squirrel sneered. Let's go, Mr. Rabbit shouted. That was when two good friends, Mr. Sloth and Mr. Turtle, raised their limbs. It was Mr. Turtle who spoke first. Can Mr. Sloth and I join the race? Mr. Squirrel and Mr. Rabbit laughed so hard they had to wipe their tears. Mr. Squirrel said, Wow, thanks, Mr. Turtle. We needed that little joke. There was just too much tension between us, and... Oh, I wasn't joking. Mr. Turtle smiled. Mr. Sloth nodded his head. He nodded so slowly it took a few seconds between each nod. Mr. Owl said, Of course, anyone can join the race. Mr. Rabbit's jaw dropped. Are you serious? Mr. Owl didn't say a word. He just glared at Mr. Rabbit. Okay, okay, Mr. Rabbit said. He looked at Mr. Turtle and Mr. Sloth and said, Just don't stand in the way. And Mr. Squirrel added, And don't expect me to hang around when both of you finally cross the finish line, two years from now. And Mr. Squirrel and Mr. Rabbit laughed again. Ready, set, go! When morning came, Mr. Owl met the four contestants and told them where the starting line and the finish line were. By that time, news had spread and many other animals came to watch the race. Obviously, Mr. Rabbit and Mr. Squirrel were the crowd favorites. Everyone was betting on those two animals. Not a single animal betted on Mr. Sloth or Mr. Turtle. Finally, when the racers were ready at the starting line, Mr. Owl shouted, Ready, set, go! And Mr. Rabbit and Mr. Squirrel launched themselves like rockets. Both of them sped down the road like they had jets tied to their feet. Vroom! But Mr. Sloth and Mr. Turtle lumbered along like they were taking a walk in the park. It didn't take long for Mr. Sloth to stop on the road. He told Mr. Turtle, You go ahead. I'm going to take a nap. The race is tiring me out. Mr. Turtle shook his head. But we've only taken ten steps. Ten already? Gosh, I should have stopped when I hit six. As Mr. Sloth climbed up a tree, he said, I'll just catch some Z's for a couple of minutes. He hugged a branch and an instant was snowing. Okay, see you later, Mr. Turtle said, as he trudged along in his tranquil pace. That was when Mr. Squirrel came running backwards. It was such a funny sight that the animals watching the race went wild. When Mr. Squirrel reached Mr. Turtle, he ran circles around him, which made the crowd cheer even louder. Mr. Squirrel said, I see that Mr. Sloth gave up already. I don't see him. How about you, Mr. Turtle? I'm okay, Mr. Squirrel. Shouldn't you be running along? Mr. Rabbit might beat you, Mr. Turtle said. Nah, I'm giving him a head start. The race is too dreary. Okay, bye now. And he zoomed off, leaving a trail of swirling dust. That was when three monkeys on the side of the road started cheering. One shouted, Give up, Mr. Turtle. Forget the race. Another said, Stop carrying your house on your back. Perhaps you'll run faster. But the turtle didn't mind them. He just plodded along. The Excess Energy of Squirrel and Rabbit Meanwhile, at the front of the race, Mr. Rabbit and Mr. Squirrel were having a good time. They had so much energy they just didn't run the race. That would have been too boring for them. They wanted more excitement. Mr. Rabbit wasn't running straight. He was running in a zigzag. Right, left, back, forth, up, and down. Mr. Squirrel was worse than Mr. Rabbit.
At least Mr. Rabbit stayed on the path. Mr. Squirrel ran on the side roads, detours, and even visited nearby towns just to expand his excess energy. That was when Mr. Squirrel told Mr. Rabbit, Hey, I have a crazy idea. This race is getting a bit too monotonous. Why don't we both take a nap? When we wake up, we'll spread through the rest of the race as fast as we can. That way, it'll be more fun. Mr. Rabbit said, Yeah, why not? This race is so humdrum. It's making me sleepy. And he gave out a big yawn. And both animals lay on their backs and dozed off. Mr. Squirrel takes a shortcut. But Mr. Squirrel was just pretending to be asleep. When he heard Mr. Rabbit snoring, he stood up and snickered to himself. Now the race is mine. While running down the road, he glanced at the forest behind him. And he said, Hey, I can take a shortcut through this forest. That way, I'll reach the finish line in a snap. And with one giant leap, he entered the forest and vanished. After a few minutes, Mr. Total saw Mr. Rabbit slipping at the side of the road. He passed by him and continued inching his way forward. An hour later, when Mr. Rabbit woke up, he noticed that Mr. Squirrel was nowhere to be found. He said, Oh no, I've been tricked. He jumped up and ran as fast as his feet could carry him. At that same moment, Mr. Owl was waiting at the finish line, together with the many onlookers. And what they saw was so shocking, no one could believe it. Big Surprise at the Finish Line They saw Mr. Total walking towards them. How in the world could this happen? The spectators asked. And where are Mr. Rabbit and Mr. Squirrel? When Mr. Turtle finally crossed the finish line, the animals burst into applause. Everyone congratulated the turtle, even those that ridiculed him at the start of the race. A few minutes later, they saw Mr. Rabbit racing down the road. You can imagine his shock when he saw Mr. Turtle already fully rested, sipping his drink. After a few minutes, Mr. Slot lumbered along the path. Spectators couldn't believe that he had actually made it. If you recall, Early in the story, Mr. Sloth took a nap. Well, he did wake up after a few minutes and started walking again. But throughout the race, he kept dozing off. He slept again, walked again, slept again, walked again. Well, you get the idea. And Mr. Sloth, no matter how slow, crossed the finish line too. Patiently, everyone waited for the squirrel, but he never came. When nightfall came, Mr. Owl pronounced the winners of the race. First place, Mr. Turtle. Second place, Mr. Rabbit. Third place, Mr. Sloth. Mr. Squirrel, he was a no-show. To this day, no one really knows what happened to Mr. Squirrel. No one has ever seen him again. But we've heard some rumors. Some say that Mr. Squirrel got lost in the forest, and in the forest he was accidentally killed by a bear. Four kinds of people in the stock market. As you can probably guess, these four animals, squirrel, rabbit, sloth, and turtle, represent the four kinds of people who get into the stock market. Squirrel is the typical trader. Rabbit is the trained trader. Sloth is the typical investor. And the turtle is the trained investor. By the way, the turtle has a name. I call him Sam, but that's getting ahead of the story. In the next few pages, I'll introduce each of these characters to you. But first, let me tell you how most people get into the stock market. You may actually see yourself in the next story, 